and welcome to the celebration space. My name is Kaylee Phelps and today I have an assistant with me named Millie. She is one of the two CCOs of the celebration space, chief cuddling officers. And normally she's taking her nap when I go live, but she is wound up right now. And today we're going to talk about plants. So you can see I have quite a few plants um, all over my dining room table right now. And there is one caveat. I will be talking about live plants, but all of the plants in front of me are actually fake. So um, one of the reasons is actually because of Miss Millie right over here, because she likes to do, oh, right on cue, she <laughs> likes to bite the plants. So if you have any pets or animals, um, you might find that you wanna keep a lot of plants in the house but you also don't want to poison um, your, the pets in your family. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the plants that I, the fake plants that I found, some tips and tricks, and then also some of the real plants that I found. We're going to go on a little bit of a field trip. You might get see, see some more um, of Miss Millie running around all over the place. But what I'm going to start with is I've kind of organized all of my fake plants into what um, their vessel looks like. So I'm going to start with these clear ones. And one of the things that I truly believe in is succulents look less fake than more leafy greens. So I do have some leafy greens, but most of my fake plants actually are succulents. So um, these are great because they also just have stones in the bottom, making them look a little bit more real and a little bit more arid. And since they're spiky, you're not gonna be able to tell as much if they you know, are fake or real. Um, same with this one. I would say this is the most fake looking one that I have um, as far as a clear, a clear vessel but it's pretty cute it's just little and I keep both of these actually on little tables um, on either side of my couch so they're just kind of there they're easy to move if you want to put a drink there or if you need to make some more space um, and really this one is the only thing on that table besides a lamp and then this one is next to a candle and a little timer so it's, I try to decorate in odd numbers like nature just to copycat nature as I do with these fake plants. So this guy actually hangs, um, so I love him because they did a really great job. I got this guy from Target, um, kind of burning the ends and making it look less even. They also have some fake moss in here. I think the number one thing that gives a fake plant away is the bottom so i try to avoid showing the bottom of any of my plants um real or fake just because um a lot of times that's where uh it's the most dirty and um and also in fake plants that's where you're going to be able to tell if they're fake um these two guys i actually keep in our bathroom so i like to have a hint of green in almost every single room um, I don't have any fake plants in our bedroom right now or in the guest bedroom because in feng shui it's actually um, counterintuitive because the yin and the yang energies if you're trying to calm down but you have something growing and energetic in your room um, it's supposed to keep you awake so uh, having fake plants is a great kind of workaround for that um, so I have these in the bathroom not in the bedroom proper but I like to get see a hint of green green is my favorite color it's also right in the middle of the rainbow so you're actually able to see the most variants of green um, just a little fun fact right there. I'm not a doctor, but I'll fact check myself after this. But um, but yeah, so these are two of the white varieties that I have. This one, I think you can tell, I have it up on um, a little shelf and you can see that there are little stones in the bottom of it, which gives it a little bit more of a real vibe and it's just kind of blossoming. Oh. Millie is yelling from somewhere, our assistant. Oh, there she is, she's okay, she's running back. Um, and then this guy is a succulent and he's actually, um, yeah, there's stones in the bottom of him too. So both of these, you don't get really too up close to them. So I think that's another thing. Um, it does have a variety of colors outside the edge as opposed to inside the middle, which I think also makes it look more real. Um, but another way to style fake plants is just to put them where people aren't gonna be that close to them. Um, the next one that I have, this is actually on our coffee table and it's a variety of succulents and they all look 
pretty real um, and I've had people ask me where I got this before. The problem with this one is that you can see the, just like the really fake flat dirt in the middle of it, but you can't see too much of it just because it is it does have quite a few different varieties in it. Um, as you can see too, I'm not sure if this will show up on camera, but there it has been well loved by Millie and Dolly too. So um, they have used it as a little chew toy. Um, Millie is teething right now at just three months old. So um, so it has given it a little bit more of a real vibe, potentially unintentionally, but that's okay. Um, then this is a plant, like I said, we used to keep um, real flowers on our dining room table every week. So pick them up from Trader Joe's or Kroger. It's a nice way to actually have a real plant. Like I said, since there, I do have um, not as many true real plants, which you want the oxygen benefits um, and just to have those real plants in your home. Um, so we used to have that on here. Um, Dolly would occasionally get up there and kind of smell them. Um, but now with Miss Millie, since she is able to get up on the dining room table, even though she's not supposed to, um, this has been really great. We've actually, she has really gone to town on it. But what I love about this, um, and when I picked it out, this is from Tuesday morning, um, that you can't see the bottom. So it looks really lush. I had a friend um, stop by and she was like, wow, where'd you get that beautiful potted plant? And I was like, actually, it's fake. It's from Tuesday morning. So um, I like the color in it too. It switches it up a little bit from the succulents and it's nice as a centerpiece just because it's not too tall if you have people sitting at the table, um, but it, it is lush enough that it takes up the middle piece. Um, I do have four um, placemats and then a table runner as well. So um, it just kind of goes with that whole vibe and breaks up the monotony of the succulents as well. So going into, I do have a couple gold pieces that I keep on a uh, on a bookshelf coming into the house. So um, we kind of have a weird little indent coming into the house. So I put a bookshelf there and styled it with some different things. So I really love this little guy. Um, he has some moss in him. Uh, Tyler and I actually picked him up um, when we were at a wedding at a little store. So um, he looks pretty, pretty real. Um, although I don't think he would grow as well on a bookshelf because he's kind of far away from the sun. Another reason we don't have a ton of true real plants is that we don't get a ton of direct sunlight. So the real plants that we do have um, have to be um, low light plants. Um, and since we do travel a lot in normal times, um, they are pretty low water plants as well. And I'll get to that in a minute. Um, so, so yeah, this guy is just up on a higher shelf by where we store our keys and it's a nice little, um, pop of green to see when you come in the door. Um, this guy's also from Target along with this, um, with this hanging guy and, um, and this that goes in the center of our coffee table. So I got all three of these at the same time. Um, this is actually the real version of the succulent is becoming really popular. Um, it looks... I don't know, on camera, it, it still looks fake. It looks pretty fake. So it's, um, but I love the gold on it and I love that it hangs down. So um, it's a really nice piece just to have on a bookshelf where people, like I said, aren't gonna get too close to it. Um, and it fills up some space, gives you some um, greenery, so it kind of tricks your brain into thinking, ooh, I'm seeing something that's alive um, in this space. So this is also from Target. I got it at the same time, more succulents. This is one of the gray plants um, that we have and I actually keep this outside in the middle of our porch table. Um, it's nice and tall um, it has little stones in the bottom of it and I love this pattern. So um, I like the variety and having different, different shapes and different heights. So that's, that's that guy and then these, um, hydrangeas I've had for forever. So I have actually had these in every apartment that I've ever been in. Um, they've lived in a couple different, um, in a cover, couple different vases. But what I like about this vase is that you can see some of the greenery through it, but like I've been saying, you don't wanna be able to see the bottom of it. So this actually, um, I can take you on the field trip right now. Again, I'm gonna try to be the least Blair Witch Project that I can be. So this um, actually goes right here and um, is really nice just to kind of fill some of the space in between, um, in between this 
mirror and this little table in the middle of this hallway. And I'm gonna take you to the mother of all fake plants, which is this fake plant that we have in our sunroom. So this is kind of a weird space. It's it's not very big. And so when we moved in here, I was like, wow, this is gonna be a design challenge. Um, but this um, is actually also from Target. So if you're looking for fake plants, I guess go there. Um, and one of the best things about this is that it actually has um, mimicked fake bark on it. So the cats actually love playing with it. Um, I would say the, the flaw of this, um, it looks really real right now in the light, but underneath, if you get too close, you can tell that these are um, fake plastic liners. But I do love this. Um, it gets some light and it looks really nice in the light. Um, and it fills this weird space that we have by... Um, by this little side table really well. Um, I'm gonna give you a peek at one of our real plants and where it lives up here on top of the bookshelf. And he's up here because he, um, he does not need to be eaten by the cats because the cats would um, yeah, suffer if they ate um, from him. I actually got this plant from a friend. Um, it's pretty low light, low water. Um, I think it's a variant of a snake. Uh, snake plant um, but it's really nice it's really pretty it gives some nice life and it does have like <laughs> the fake plants it does have some stones in it just to kind of keep um, keep the water down and also keep the dirt at bay so um, I just water him every two weeks and then um, wait until I see some of this at the bottom and he's been doing pretty well so um, we are happy about that um, then we'll go to the other real plant that's actually in the house so it is this snake plant that is um, in this corner. So he fills up this corner quite nicely, um, nice and tall and abundant. Um, I actually have, in addition to loving real and fake plants, I have um, some pictures of plants. So he's right under his own namesake of a, a print. Um, and snake plants actually are um, poisonous to cats, uh, but I've done a lot of spraying and it takes quite a bit for them to eat for them to be able to get sick. So we've been just like clapping and trying to use a spray bottle and um, also spray some essential oils that they don't like around so that they um, so that they don't attack that plant. And we'll go out on the porch for the last bit of the tour where um, the last plants are. So I love this plant. I had one, I've had one inside, I've had one outside, but this is an iron plant. So um, he's nice and leafy, I'm not sure if you can get the full, but he's nice and leafy and I like putting him up here so that he gets some more sun. It's not direct real intense sun, but it is, he gets some sun. Um, he was kind of in the shade and he's a low light plant anyway, um, but I like it too because he actually, I'm not sure if you saw Dolly, but Dolly loves the porch so she's coming out here right now. But um, I like having it up against these windows too because then you can see some of the greenery while you're in the living room. Um, and uh, so it kind of serves a dual purpose. And last but not least, I'll show you kind of the saddest project. But um, these two little cactuses started from seeds. So Tyler and I actually picked this up from an Urban Outfitters. It's a, a cool little kit. I'll see if I can find it online where you it's a fortune telling um trick where you put in different cactus seeds and then you see what type of cactus grows so we ended up with two of them we're keeping them outside it's it's hot in atlanta so um and they're not getting a ton of that super hot direct sunlight but they are probably getting more moisture than they normally would but but they're not doing too bad i mean they're they're small um but they're but they're coming in um the way that they can so um, I do have a couple other not really plants plants, but I do like to try to mimic nature a lot um, where I can. So I'm gonna try to see if I can put this over here. So I have some fake grass over here by Dolly with um, some little vases that I'm not using. I also have, we're gonna go back through here. I'll have to come back and get these babies off the porch. Um, but I also have so just some branches that I love in this tall vase um, that also turn on and there's actually a cinnamon broom behind it. So that's, um, 
that's nice and it's nice and fragrant. So, um, and then lastly, I have a wreath that I like to put on top of a bookshelf, um, or I've had it on top of the fridge just laying flat. So it's, it's pretty, it's, um, obviously fake, but, um, but it, it gets the job done. It has a little bit of a pop of greenery and mimicking that nature that um, I like to have in my home. Like I said, it's going to make you feel better. You might not get the oxygenation benefits, but um, it's going to trick your brain into thinking that you're in a lush paradise. So I hope that this helps a little bit so that you know how to style plants, maybe pick out some fake plants if you have some pets in your home, um, and also just try to incorporate some more nature into your home, especially as we're all staying inside more now days um and yeah so i'm gonna put all of my plants back where they're supposed to be and until next time enjoy celebrating today